Hey, this is Harold Nixon with HaroldNixon.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how to export selected tracks uh, to open up as a uh, track archive later. This is uh, uh, extremely handy for uh, uh, trading uh, tracks around with other Steinberg users. This is uh, much easier than exporting uh, regular WAV files for somebody to use. Uh, it keeps all your edits and everything. It's, it's really super neat. So uh, this, it's, it's really simple, so we'll just get started out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to export these um, two mandolin channels here. So all you have to do is click, and of course, you know, we want to select two channels because we're wanting to export two of them. So I'm going to hold down the shift key and then click. So I have both of these uh, selected, so all you have to do is click one, then hold down the shift key, click the other. That's all there is to do in, to uh, select both of them. So both those channels are selected, so we're going to go up to File, Export, Selected Tracks. Do you want to copy or reference the media files? We do want to copy. Okay, and I'm going to put this on a uh, thumb drive here. I've got I've got one of these little Kingston thumb drives. So I'm going to create and I'm going to create a directory uh, Mando tracks. Okay, and under that directory, I'm going to put the put the song uh, "You Are What I Am." Close enough, and we'll hit OK. And you can see it copies the files right here. It's a little slow because this is a uh, thumb drive. A little flash USB drive. But uh, you can see it's uploading all the WAV files for that uh, particular two sets of tracks there. So if we had uh, six takes or uh, uh, a, a couple punch notes or some edits it uploads that and you can see it's done and that's really actually all there is to it you can see my next tutorial on importing from a track archive so we'll go ahead and close this and I'll show you what's actually we'll go to my computer and I've got it on the Kingston Drive here and Mando tracks you are what I am and you can see what it creates here it creates a XML document which is it keeps all the session information where it, uh, where things are and what the edits are and stuff and all the media is stored in here so these are all the WAV files but uh, when you actually go to import that from the track archive you'll be importing this file and it automatically grabs all that good stuff so this is Harold Nixon from HaroldNixon.com thanking you again have a good day